So again, two more examples here. And if I look, the leading coefficient is 4. And 4 is not common in all three terms. So again, that indicates to me I'm going to use the Xbox method right away. So I take 4 times 3, which is 12. And the middle term is 13. And now I ask myself, what factors of 12 add up to 13? Well, 12 and 1. 12 times 1 is 12, and 12 plus 1 is 13. And now I'm ready to use my box. So again, the first term of my quadratic trinomials go, goes there. My last term goes there. And now these two things with x's, those two terms with x's, go in here. And now if I look at the top, my common factor is x. And if I factor the x out, out then I have 4x plus 1 across the top. Now, what times 4x will give me 12x? Well, that would be 3. And again, if I check that, now 3 times 1 is 3. And so I filled in my box. Across the top, I have 4x plus 1 times, down the side, x plus 3. And now I've factored that quadratic trinomial completely. So if we look at the example B here, Again, we look at this one. The 3 is not common in all three terms. So again, it tells me I'm going to use the x box. So I have to take the 3 times the 2. And that gives me 6. And now the negative 7 goes down here. And now what factors of a positive 6 add up to a negative 7? Well, the factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. And the only ones that work would be negative 1 and negative 6. So now I use my x box method. Again, the 3x squared goes in that box. Positive 2 goes here. And then negative 1x and negative 6x. So again, here in this first row, 3x is common in both terms. So if I factor that out, I'm left with an x and a minus 2. And now what times x gives me a negative 1x? would be a negative 1. And now if I check, negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. So now I'm done. So across the top, I have x minus 2. And down the side, I have 3x minus 1. And again, these are the two binomials that multiply together that equal that quadratic trinomial. And if you want to take a look at these, you can. Uh, we've already done a couple of examples. So if you want to pause it and try this out, and then I'll just reveal the answer here in just a moment. The answers to number 1 would be 2x minus 7 times x plus 1. And the answer to number 2, there's a couple of different ways to do it, but if you didn't worry about the negative out in front and you just left it, then you'd have 2x plus 5 times negative 2x plus 1.